Hello YouTube, welcome back to Thronebreaker. Just destroyed the printing presses. So let's hope we don't find any more propaganda. We actually sent out scouts, I seem to be missing a lot of stuff here. One of Rivia's many caverns dwell a blind dwells a blind troll known to the locals of Sniff Sniff. He's often seen along roadsides where he greets weary travelers and warmly invites them to his cave for soup. On occasion, utterly drained from hunger, some actually accept the offer and follow the troll to his home. They soon realize, however, that they'll not enjoy a single slurp of his soup but rather become a key ingredient in it. Yeah, what else? Play the ingredient card that matches the scent of each unit. Sometimes throwing an ally into the fire is the best way out. What? by all trolls for the tender flesh steamed in roots and herbs over many many years tender flesh That's the carcass. That's mushrooms, carcass, mushrooms. Foul ale, cheap booze. Roots and herbs. Booze. Wow, monsters. 
A local set of warning for the queen. We don't go to Rovenholm after an Guardian said scorched the village beasts claimed what remained. For a time the venerable Grigory mad with grief resisted them until they finally tore him to shreds that is. Boost one unit to at least 125 power. Use your leader ability. Okay. Force a drone to consume adjacent horizontal and vertical units. If the power of any consumed unit was odd, boost Araha's drone by its power. If it was even, damage Araha's drone by its power. Okay. Damage all enemies by one and boost an ally by the amount damaged. Need to try this out, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. That was a weird puzzle. Rivia will never die so long as we are alive. Nilfgaard will not spit in our maws. Lady, the traitors run before you. 
Find me a map, and I'll show you where they buried the loot. Our wagon and some kind of understand. Rivia will never die so long as. Keep an eye open for that. Misfortune ha has befallen me. Those without mercy attack me without cause. Woe to all, for our final resting place is far, and we but wander blindly in the realms of chaos. Good mother, I pray for your light never fades. Hear me and slay my enemies when I shout thy name. Hmm. Your Majesty, we found corpses in the tents, traveling merchants, it appears. Seems they were killed whilst, whilst they slept, drained of blood to the last drop. We've already buried the bodies, but don't know what you wish to do with their wares. We can position them, like, like stealing from the dead, like leaving it with them, what, what good is that gonna do? These lands, they look familiar to you? Naturally, Your Grace. They're the venerable Count Caldwell's. War, death, chaos. Everywhere but here. This land's positively pastoral. Yeah. Oh, I'm not surprised. Entering the state of Palatine Caldwell, along with the Emperor. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. The traitorous Caldwell family's residence loomed into view. Against the horizon, it looked suitably sinister. Yet the manor had changed since Meave last saw it. Two new wings, ornate towers, a grand colonnade and the windows now glistened with stained glass the gilded hue of imperial suns. We must pay them a visit, seethed the queen. The great double doors opened with an echoing thud. Just inside them stood the heir to the estate, Dragomir, his wife and three children by his side, and Helena, the treacherous count's widow. Sliding the cap from his head, Thus giving proof of the family's hereditary baldness, Dragomir knelt down upon one knee. Your Grace, my father's betrayal stands beyond doubt and exoneration. The young Caldwell said flawlessly and in a single breath as if he'd practiced a dozen times. And his death at your hands was most well deserved. I ask that you not punish sons for the sins of their fathers. I ask humbly, with bowed head, allow me to stay on my ancestral lands. To serve faithfully as your loyal subject. I believe not a word slithering out of his mouth, whispered Reynard. The first chance he gets to stab you in the back, he will take. Convenient to make this request now, don't you think? Why not earlier? Meave asked, 
crossing her arms and raising her chin. It would have behooved you to send a messenger once I'd crossed into Rivia. Uh, preferred to speak to you directly, Your Grace, for... For you held out hope. Hope that the Blackclads would yet defeat me. You stood on their side till the last. No. The Coldwells I trusted once, but I shan't make that error again. You've one day to pack your chattels and go. Leave my country. Dragomir rose from his knee and shook out the cap he'd crushed in supplication. Only ever as a corpse, your majesty. He hissed, his vulnerable demeanor gone in a flash. If you'll not take me for your vassal, you must take me as your foe. Men, to arms! At this sign, armed men rushed from the house while archers appeared atop the roof. Clearly, Dragomir had expected to be refused. Big surprise there. The old adage, the apple does not fall from the tree, proved true once again. Dragomir was as loyal as his father. He did, however, differ in one respect. He demonstrated competence in combat, presenting greater resistance than Meef had anticipated. Destroy my family. I won't allow it. Ah! I smell a leak. Black clad hands. My spirit's willing to howl, but these damn boots are killing me. Again and again and again. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. <laughs> time to die. Pay late. Again. like a swine in that jacket. Aye. Yeah. Give me a time. Father was right about you. Reich. Dragomir lay in the courtyard of his extravagant manor. With the last of his strength, he clawed at the colored gravel. He resembled an insect that was hurt, damaged, yet pulled itself along as if it could somehow escape death. The queen knelt beside him and gazed into his clouded eyes. I want you to know your family will be looked after. You've relatives in Kedwin. They'll be sent there. Properly escorted, with the proper stipend. Dragomir wished to say something, but choked on his own blood. He was dead a moment later. The queen slowly stood and gave the order to march. She rode at the front of the column, deep in thought. That's actually what I planned to do. 
entirely not execute them or anything because yes sins of the father and everything but letting them keep all this yeah that uh, i'm sorry that uh, the right to this estate his father lost and he was the one holding the rights to it so yeah they can leave properly escorted but they lose all their possessions in rivia that would have been my decision as well. He wanted to make a fight out of it. Oh well. His decision. Giving this estate to Gascon. If he wants it. He certainly deserves it way more. Crouching in the dark, the Lyrians observed the Nilfgaardian garrison in silence. They watched as fires were extinguished, as echoes grew quiet. Finally, once the barracks were quiet with sleep, only lone sentries remained atop the walls. Then the queen gave the order to strike. It was time to give the rouse to, to rouse the invaders from their peaceful slumber. Standard battle. This could hurt! For Rivia! I'm coming, I'm coming. Watch your heads! <laughs>
всем! Life is mine now! Give me a time. Prescriptions, a bit of blood. choice. Hmm. Army's a waste of time for me like this. Abolist in your command. <sighs> now tell everybody of these school loans. Exceptional. I'm a winner. Left, right, left, right. Suffering. For what? Barbarians. Oh, Lyrian Lummoxes.
That was nice. I wonder actually whether they have uh, Geralt's animations or anything reused or a series maybe. Although now she grabs her sword, this is a different animation, but yeah, this is clearly a 3D model while the rest is hand painted and this is just the tune shader. I like how they did this. Oh yeah, here we are. Okay, clear that one. The hell, werewolf? Lurian army approached Lindaham. The village sergeant Nadimir called home. He was eager to hold his family in loving embrace, recount his adventures, introduce his wife to the queen. Yet the chimneys spewed no smoke, no light flickered through closed shutters. And a bit further beyond the village, a deep dark pit. What did it hold, you ask? Ha! You clearly aren't familiar with war. Monsters. Mass grave, oh boy. Poor Sergeant Nightemir.
again and again and again. Give me it. An army's a waste of time for one like me. This could hurt. Watch your heads. <laughs> Mixes. Abolist in your command. Not war.
We must trust each other. Your Majesty, I advise you to come no closer. This trench, it seems the Guardian soldiers have repurposed it as a mass grave. I count nearly two dozen bodies. Proper burial. Oh well. Poor Sergeant. Anyway, we'll continue this next time. Until then, keep your heads up, folks. I'll see you on the next one.